All right, everybody. Yellow Wolf, Till It's Gone. This is a song that was introduced to me by a guy who's no longer here. He was a very assertive, uh, straightforward person. I asked him how he came about being that way or if it was just natural. He said, no, I listened to Yellow Wolf, Till It's Gone. Kind of built my personality and myself and my reputation around it. And I said, wow, that's a damn powerful song then. And then I listened to it and realized just how powerful it was. Let's uh, unpack that first little bit, shall we? Essentially, people like to mistake kindness for weakness. And those of us that have been kind to a fault all know exactly what it's like to be taken advantage of, to be used, to be shit on. Don't mistake my kindness for anything more. Trust me. I'm not your money bags. I'm not the person to take care of your problems for you. I am a person who will be there with you and I will support you, but I won't do it for you. If you come to my door and you ask me for a place to stay and you have no exit strategy, don't think for a second that you are going to manipulate me into crashing here for the rest of your life. I've been there, done that, dealt with that, not going to happen. You're in over your head and you created a, a problem that can't be solved. I'll stand with you. But if I find out that you created the problem and now you're trying to backpedal out of it, it's a different story. If people are coming at you over some stuff that you had no part of, then yeah, I'll come back you up. But if you dig yourself in, and suddenly it's like, oh, oops, I didn't mean to do that, you did it. Handle your own when you become a man. And you become a man when you handle your own. It doesn't mean that there aren't people out there that are going to support you when, you're, when you need support. But it means that you try to do it yourself first. And then if it's a situation that you didn't create for yourself. A situation that wrong place, wrong time. Or... A misunderstanding that can be resolved call me up I got your back just try to handle it 
Try to be a man and handle it. What can I do if I do till it's gone? If I give you everything that I have and my electricity gets shut off, is that your fault or mine? It's my fault. So don't ask me for it. If you ask me for it and I tell you no, respect that decision. Because you're not a friend if you keep coming at me knowing that it's going to turn my power off. And I'm going to keep telling you no because I know it's going to turn my power off. And then you're going to turn into a little bitch about it and be like, oh, you didn't help me when I needed it. I couldn't. And I wouldn't. Because I learned long ago that I have responsibilities that I need to take care of. And I can't take care of my responsibilities and your responsibilities at the end of the day. One of us is going to end up ass out and it ain't going to be me. Oh. Look, unless I'm married, nobody else's name is going on this lease. And if your name's not on the lease, you don't belong here. And if you don't belong here, don't act like you do. Don't pretend like you do. You ain't taking up rent in my head. You ain't taking up space in my apartment. Plain and simple. I'm not a bus ride. You can up inside and just roll away clean. Not the wheel on the wagon you want to break. Cause I hold up the wheel for the team. I'm not the gold watch in the new truck. You scheming to check out. Unless you're looking to check out. See, look at it. That dude is conversing and creating a situation for himself. Not going to talk about all the political shit that's going on in that situation. I'm pretty sure if you're smart, you can read what's going on there pretty well. But look, I knew that for me, if I hung out in certain parts of Tucson, after a certain time, there was a likelihood that I was going to get shot for being there. Plain and simple. Anybody with any common sense will be able to decipher exactly what I'm referring to on that. But there are just certain places that you don't go after a certain time if you're smart and you know not to do it. And if you choose to do it, don't expect somebody to go with you. Common sense would dictate, I know not to be there, why would I drag somebody else into a potentially fatal situation? That's the kind of shit I'm talking about. What a mess now. Come on. Ain't much I can do, but I do what I can. But I'm not a fool, there's no need to pretend. Just because you got yourself in some shit, it doesn't mean I have to come deal with it. Don't bullshit a bullshitter. Take care of you, take care of your own, take care of your family, you know? My daughter can tell you that I shirked my responsibilities for a long time, but I'm here now doing the best I can, still not putting myself out if I can't afford it. 
but I'm doing the best I can for my family to provide support, emotional, mental, physical support, because I love my family. And if I had to choose between giving my daughter the last of what I had or helping a stranger with the last of what I had, I'm going to split that. I'm going to help my daughter with most of it and save a little bit for myself. That stranger's ass out. The sky for my people, I walk through the fire, I give love when it's equal, don't tell me not to complain about my money and fame, when you come around me telling me I changed, damn right I fucking changed, when it's fucking change in my pocket, hit the bucket, it was a rocket all of a sudden, I went from shopping without nothing, to going shopping for my cousins. Not quite there yet, but I've gone from dumpster diving goodwill to being able to purchase some of the things that I've needed, wanted. Um, I've been able to go to school. I've been able to remain focused and dedicated to my goals and my accomplishments without sacrificing more than I have, more than I am able to bring in. Now that the cops know that I'm buzzing, they want to drop me in the oven. Pull me over just to say I'm a fan. Yeah, pop, got it low. Fuck, ain't what you can do, but what I do. And you know what? The same people that talk shit about me back in Tucson that said I would never amount to anything, said I would never be anyone, that my crippling anxiety and my depression and the shit that used to keep me trapped in my fucking room all day, every day, because of the drugs, because... I was just unable to handle my life that, that, that was spiraling out of control, that did spiral out of control. Um, to those people, I say thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you'll, never, you'll never understand the gift you gave me by bad-mouthing me and treating me like a piece of shit. What I can Friendly reminder from your road to recovery. Subscribe to Yellow Wolf. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, oh, till it's gone. Oh, oh, till it's gone. Oh, what can I do if I do till it's gone? YouTube break. I think the song speaks for itself. Pretty sure. Pretty honest. Pretty upfront. Pretty out. Right there. I don't think I need to say much more than that. So y'all, that has been Yellow Wolf and the song is Till It's Gone. So I hope you've enjoyed and I will see y'all in the next one. You're not alone. You are cared for and I love you very much. <laughs>